Hi guys. So for today, we'll cover on a new topic, uh, this time using sum and average function here in Microsoft Excel. So whenever you're trying to add up numbers in a column or a row or coming up with an average of those numbers, you can rely on a couple of Excel's uh, most commonly used functions, and that is the sum and average. Now here, there is a menu button in Excel and there's also keys to a shortcut. Um, and they're going to help you in your, in your use of these functions. So we're looking at this worksheet labeled sum average. And for here, we are looking at some numbers already. We can see revenue numbers and um, on a weekly. So that's for a weekly example. And we have separate examples down below. But we'll start first for the first part. Uh, here, we want a total in cell G2, and we want to add up the data. Uh, you may have seen in another video or tutorial, we can start typing equal sum and left parenthesis like this. Okay, uh, highlight the data and so on. Like that. Well, well, nothing wrong with this one really. I'll delete this one for a moment. Um, but we may have a relatively faster way, maybe two. On the Home tab, in the Editing group, so we are in the Home tab already, in the Editing group on the right screen, just um, rightmost part of the screen, uh, you'll see a button called Auto Sum. If you click this button, Excel looks upward for the data, and then it looks leftward. And in this case, no numbers really appear above this cell right here. So then it looks leftward. So Excel shows us what it's about to do. And we're going to press Enter. And we can also uh, do it again. So we have a result here, 649. Um, let's do another trick. So let's still select it on this cell. We can click double click auto sum. So click, click. There, there you have it. And there's our total right here. I'm going to select it. And what's, what has it done for us? It's put, it puts the sum function, as you can see, on the formula bar. And also, if I double click the cell right here, OK? Um, it's also, so there, there are two ways you can see that and prove that it's uh, using the auto sum function through the so, uh, formula bar and through the double clicking this cell right here. And um, similarly in cell B8 right here, we could use that same button. And by the way, that button also appears on another location and that is on the formulas tab in this ribbon. And if I click on the formulas tab, it's on the left side. See, see here? Okay, so that shows, it really shows up in two locations. It also has a keystroke shortcut. And as you can see, it says Alt equal. Looks good, right? So let's try Alt equal. Oh no, sorry. Typo, Alt equal again. And press Enter. Well, it's the same general idea, same approach. Well. Same results. So prove that we have the same results. If you do the auto sum function right here, still the same result. Okay. Alt equal again, same result. Okay. Um, another thought in here as well if you highlight the cells ahead of time, this one, and then Total, we want the total at the bottom. You could also have pressed auto sum like this. And there we have the result down below. And we could also use the alt equal. So selecting these cells again, alt equal, and we see have we see we have the same results. Okay. Different techniques, no? Uh, sometimes you'll experience small problems, for example, well, it's not really a problem. It's not big, uh, biggie, big issue, really. What happens here if you press in this location? Okay, not really that location, but if I press auto sum here, we say it looks upward, then downward. Well, here we here, here we go, something. 
So here's auto sum. Excel looks upward. But I wanted really to add up the data to the left. Uh, that data. So what I do is I simply select those uh, those cells instead, and Excel sees that. And then press enter. All done. There you have it. And then if we want totals on the right side. So for example, okay, uh, control Z on the right side. Here in rows 11 through 13, no, we can highlight these cells H1. Well, not really H1 to H13. Okay, and then we can take an action of or two really. We'll either click the auto sum button, and there we have the results, or we press Alt equal. So Control Z, still highlighting the same cells, then I'll press Alt equal, and there you have it. Okay, um, I don't have to do anything else. So I'll delete that. Uh, similarly, across the bottom, we could do the same thing. Oh, and one other thing, if we highlight the data this way, and that is including the empty cells on the right and on the bottom here, as it shows, um, and then we can click auto sum or alt equal. I pressed auto sum and there are the results, or let's try alt equal. And there you have it. Either way, we get our totals on the right hand, right side of the um, set, and at the bottom where the cells are previously empty. No. So, for example, this cell right here, what what's it doing? So it's adding up these cells right on on its left side. Okay, same thing down here. It's adding up here. How about um, this one here in row 14? It's adding up the cells here, up here. And then how about this bottom right corner? What's it doing? It's adding up. It's the cells to its left. Okay, so far so good. I'm going to press Control Z in there. Okay, so if really you wanted an average on the right hand side, AutoSum has the answer for you or um, we can do that here also, as we mentioned earlier, we have the formulas tab here in AutoSum, there's a drop down option, then we have average, we see that option, then we click it. And there you have it. So it averages performs averages on the same set relative set of numbers. Here, it averages the numbers on its left side. Same thing here. How about here? It averages the numbers um, for the cells above it. Okay, how about this bottom right corner? Same thing. And there are decimals that you would notice here. And eventually, we would uh, change the format to produce a more standard look. No? Okay, recap. Looking at the shortcuts we've just learned earlier, Y type equal SUM, it's like this, no? As we learned earlier, well, there's really nothing wrong with that, no? Um, well, just uh, to think out loud, why Y type equal SUM when Excel does it for you by pressing Alt equal like this. So these are really useful tools as you work with uh, formulas in Excel. There's no question that the sum function and the average function are widely used by most Excel users. The auto sum button, its keystroke shortcut, alt equal, all these make organizing slash tabulating sums and averages and sometimes other functions to really fast and really efficient.